they don't enjoy a person who speak standing firm looking right into their eyes and unshaken that's what we should be that's what we should be we must be and that thing comes out of liberating the mind but if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor you will never do anything you will continue to think less of yourself all right everyone welcome to another video it's your boy cj and i'm glad that you guys are here with me today i want to talk about julius malema and uh, julius malema is a south african social activist um who is very controversial and some love him some hate him and depending on what side you are you can't argue or disagree with the fact that he speaks his mind and julius malema while i don't agree with a lot of the things he says uh, i do respect the fact that he speaks his mind and that is something you always find with him he says something very interesting about nigerians and he compared nigerians to others and I find it very, very interesting that he made that statement. As I mentioned, Julius Malema is someone that speaks his mind. And I want you to hear what he said about why he loves Nigerians. And I'll be right back. You know, one thing I like about Nigerians, it's not about these things that you accuse them about. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speak, you won't doubt that... This man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear properly, yes, yes. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting. Like, no, he wants to understand. What, he's not fighting. But you... They taught you that if you don't hear, sorry, sir, can you repeat that? So they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude of a black man because to them you are boys and girls. They don't enjoy a person who speak standing firm, looking right into their eyes and unshaken. That's what we should be. That's what we should be. We must be. And that thing comes out of liberating the mind. But if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor, you will never do anything. You will continue to think less of yourself. We, we, you ought to liberate yourself. Okay, so that's that's a clip from uh, in a uh, presentation that he did a while back, and I wanted to talk about that because I think that that is very interesting that he uh, he describes Nigerians that way, and I would agree with a lot of what he said, especially when he said Nigerians are very confident. This is not some this is just something you hear from many people um, that have encountered Nigerians. Nigerians have this sense of confidence about ourselves. Uh, that it's uh, very infectious. Most people really admire it. Um, you'll find others who are intimidated by it. And I'm going to address that because he talked about it in terms of, you know, white folks see it as being rude and, you know, this is why you don't see white folks in Nigeria. That part I disagree with, right? Because if it's anything I've come to know is that uh, white people really respect Nigerians. And they respect Nigerians for the other point that he made, that Nigerians are just not a subservient type of people. It is a natural thing about us. Nigerians are not subservient. Nigerians are not uh, tap dancers. Nigerians are not, um, you know, yes, ma, yes, sir. Nigerians are not natural with that. Now, 
You know, there are no absolutes in everything. You'll find a few that would do that. But overwhelmingly, Nigerians are not just subservient type of people, which is essentially why when the slaves that were brought to the Americas from Nigeria, those slaves were mostly rebellious slaves <laughs> because Nigerians are just naturally not. Um, we are respectful people. Uh, we are a, 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 we are, uh, a group of people who respect the law. But in terms of this attitude of always being subservient to a master, a lordship, Nigerians are not like that, um, naturally. And for that reason, um, I believe a lot of white people uh, respect Nigerians for that. I know this because in my personal life, uh, the white friends that I have truly respect the fact that, you know, I naturally am not subservient. Um, you know, so I, I, you know, we'll sit together, I'll look you in the eye, uh, I'll disagree with you. I don't laugh when this, the joke is not funny. And I don't scratch when I don't itch, right? And that is the experience that I've had with white people is that it's been such of a respect where it comes to me, even in my professional life. Um, and I know this to be also true because I have friends also who are Nigerians. And this is the type of thing we talk about. Nigerians are just highly respected when it comes to their relationships with white people because white people know that when it comes to African people, they see a lot of people that, according to his point, tap dance and are really subservient to white people. And that's a, that's a plague. That's a real a real cancer in when it comes to the black community is this type of this ser servitude type of uh, mentality. And they're used to that. So you'll find a lot of white folks that are used to that and expect that from everyone. But when it comes to Nigerian, they, Nigerians, they know that that is just something they're not going to get. And they have a level of respect for it. Which is why I disagree with his point when he said that when you go to Nigeria, to, uh, to Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people there. No, there's a lot of white people that live in Nigeria. <laughs> they do. <laughs> now, I don't know what the figures are in terms of compared to other African countries. Um, I, I don't I don't have that statistics to give you, but you know, from when I was growing up, <laughs> white folks were in Nigeria and they're still in, they're moving in there uh, a lot. Um, not to mention that white folks in the West really value Nigerians. It's essentially why you would find Nigerians and white people's dealings to be favorable, right? White folks, Nigerians don't see white folks as their enemy. We just don't. Now, we, we don't appreciate the fact that the West, you know, when I mean the West, I'm talking about the entire, you know, um, uh, atmosphere or the entire um, Western region. We don't appreciate that they try to impose a lot of their will on black people. You know, that we don't appreciate. But in terms of Nigerians in a relationship with white people, they've, it's always been a favorable relationship, right? Um, that's why with Julius Malema, why I respect him as a person that speaks his mind, I can't agree with a lot of what he says. Now, I know that that's also a position that many people take uh, in terms of his viewpoint, and also others love him. You know, So he is someone that really fights for the rights of his people and tries to uh, get his people liberated from the clutches of you know, oppression. And that's, you, I, can, I respect him for that. You know, um, and so when he says he loves Nigerians because Nigerians are just, you know, um, you know, they, they, they we naturally um, are very bold and confident. And most people love that about Nigerians and he compare that to other people. Right. I think that part is true. And I think that to many people who don't understand that they would read that off as like, as I mentioned, as being rude. Right. If you're not used to someone who can push back at you or ask questions to get clarity or not uh, be a tap dancing uh, black person, you will read that as being rude. Uh, and it's just because you're, you're, you're not exposed. It's the same thing when people come across f people from New York. You know, like I told you, I've lived in New York for years. And there are people in the South that would, that would regard people in New York as very rude. And while they may have some, you know, points to that, I usually just tell people, no, New Yorkers are not rude. We're just straightforward. 
right? New Yorkers are just tell it, tell it to you as it is. And everyone in New York understands that. Like when I go to the bodega in New York and, you know, this type of aggression <laughs> that I talk to the guy across the, on the, uh, at the counter and he'll talk to me that way. And it's just a friendly and it's not like, you know, there's a type of like, hey, where, where, where the milk at or where the bread at? <laughs> right. Or I go to any store, you know, and there's a the type of uh, New Yorker. New Yorkers are usually very, um, very forceful. And it's just the culture in that part of the world to someone that is not used to that. They'll say that that's rude. Right. And, and I can understand why they would say that. But New Yorkers are not really rude. They're not. Uh, because for some reason that people get along in New York with that type of culture. So the point I'm making is that if you're not exposed to a certain type of uh, persons or culture, you might read things off negatively or something like that, right? To those that have been exposed to Nigerians and they know how Nigerians are, they don't call Nigerians rude. If anything, they call Nigerians the most friendly people out there. The most friendly people you would ever meet. I mean, I think I can't count the number of people I come across that are non-Nigerians. You know, mostly white people. That when I tell them, you know, I'm a Nigerian, they're like, oh, my best friend is a Nigerian. <laughs> it's always what I hear. Of. I went to college with a Nigerian. And he was the nicest person. <laughs> That's usually what I hear a lot. I don't hear, Nigerians are rude. Now, Maybe they're not telling me this because they don't want to hurt my feelings, but it's hard for me to believe that every person I encounter says this, right? Because they don't want to hurt my feelings. It's not true. And, and people I've dealt with, you know, in my career, uh, when I deal with non-Nigerians and white people, you know, it's usually a very good relationship. It's usually a very good relationship. Now, understand we're not, we don't have a head in the sand, <laughs> You know, we understand there's racism out here. We understand that those things exist. And I've experienced those. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not immune to racism. I've experienced those. And you have ignorant people in the world. You really do. Um, and that's on across the aisle. But I don't believe that Nigerians see white people as their enemies. I know I don't. White people are not my enemy. <laughs> They're not. You know, the nicest people and the most friendliest people I've met across this planet are white people. They're not my enemy. Um, they're ignorant ones, just like you find them in any race. You know, you find ignorant, Niger ignorant Nigerians, you find ignorant African Americans, you find ignorant Ghanaians, you find ignorant um, Indians, you find ignorant Chinese, you find ignorant people everywhere. <laughs> right? But overwhelmingly, the relationships that I've had with white people have always been positive. And they're not my enemy. I, and I will never say white people are my enemy, which is the part that I don't agree with Julius Malema. Is that I, well, I can understand if that is his experience, it's his experience. He's speaking from his own experience. You can only speak from your own experience, right? Um, you can only speak from your own experience. And, and so, you know, when he says that about Nigerians, I understand that he's coming it from his own experience. What he is experienced from with Nigerians is that Nigerians are just very uh, bold and very confident and not subservient. That is a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. And it is a, it's a part of us that I think that many people really are drawn to, right? You know, when you think of it like an alpha male personality or an alpha personality, uh, while many people might be intimidated by that personality, many people are drawn to it. And Nigerians, in terms of, if I have to quantify that whole personality in terms of that country, and, and, and quantified by a personality type, Nigerians are alphas. That's Nigerians. You know, um, and, and, and most people would call that to be, you know, a thing that is very attractive. And then there are others that would just see it as, you know, I, I'll rather not be because they, 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 they find it very intimidating. Right. And that's just that's just the way it is. Um, but but, you know, I love I love what he said. You know, I love what he said, and that that what he said couldn't be any more true. In terms of who we are, and how we carry ourselves in society, how we um, how we relate to the world in society, that couldn't be any more true, and that is a fact. 
And I think it's because our light shines so brightly, which is why everyone talks about Nigerians, you know, <laughs> good, bad, indifferent. Uh, everyone is always talking about Nigerians. I mean, if you look at the, uh, the internet right now, everyone is Nigerian this, Nigerian that, Nigerian this, Nigerian that. I mean, Nigerians are trending. And that's a good thing. And, and of course, there are, there are those who are bothered by this, and I've said it many times, and they would like to tag Nigerians to everything evil. Those ones are not to be paid attention to <laughs> because you can just tell the angle that they, they walk, you know, the angle they're coming from, right? But I think that, you know, for many, for most people, the, the relationships that they've had with Nigerians, people will tell you this. And you have people that are non Nigerian South Africans. You know, I told you about the other day, Professor uh, Lumumba, what he said also about Nigerians. And he's from Kenya. And uh, you'll find many, many people that will say things like that about Nigerians. And that is, that is because the overwhelming perception of Nigerians with people that are rational and logical are usually very positive. Um, and, and I know for, for one, I am, I am proud to be that. Now, of course, let's not, get it, let's not get it twisted, right? Nigerians are not without any faults or issues. Nigerians got their own issues like anyone else. Nigerians have their own things that they, they can work on like anyone else. But I think that the reason, the point I'm making, and I think the point that most people make when they speak highly of Nigerians is that when you weigh that against what people say, you know, what Nigerians stand for in terms of positivity and in terms of good character, good moral beings, hard workers, achievers, success, that outweighs whatever it is that you got going on. <laughs> and so you have even people that cannot help but just say it, right? They'll, they'll tell you this. And that will always forever bother people that have ill intent against Nigerians. You know, that will always forever bother them because they would, don't want to hear it. They want to hear the negativity. And it's sad that those people are usually people that are black people as well. But we don't, we don't worry about that. <laughs> you know, we don't worry about those um, we, we've got enough and that, and that's the part also real quick before I close out in this uh, message is the confidence part that he talks about. I think is the part that I, I should spend the next few minutes just talking about, because when you have someone who is secure within themselves and you have a person that is, you know, they, they know the negativity that comes around, but they don't, they don't, they don't go to bed holding that or allow that to be something that bothers them. I think that that type of attitude that we have bothers people who love to see us bothered by that. I, I think that that's what it is. I think that if you think about it for a second, I think, you know, when people are talking about Nigerians and especially ones that talk about how Nigerians are just arrogant, right? Is that they expect that when they say and throw these darts against Nigerians, it's, it doesn't phase us. And we keep moving. We don't let it bother us. So to those people, it bothers them that we're not bothered by it. <laughs> so they use words like arrogant, right? Because Nigerians just walk in their, they walk in their truth. They walk in their confidence. Uh, Nigerians don't go along with the crowd. You know, uh, the, the average Nigerian has his own mind or her mind. Makes his own or her decision. You know, um, I know for me, my yay is my yay, my nay is my nay. That's just me. That's how I'm cut, right? And I think you'll find a lot of Nigerians with that type of... If they don't believe it, they don't believe it. You can, you can, you can cry till the cows come home. They don't, if they don't believe that, they don't believe it. And if they believe it, they believe it. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's black or white. There's no gray area with Nigerians. And I think most people appreciate that because you, can, you, can, you know where you stand. But to those who are... Who would love to see us fold because they keep throwing this dart at us? It bothers them that none of those things are sticking. You get what I'm saying? It bothers them that when they say these evil things about us, we walk around like we just are not phased by it. And that attitude that we have by not being phased by those things bothers these people. <laughs> right? It, you would think the Nigerians did something negative to these right personally but it's not the case it's just that we're not phased by the negativity and that's a part that bothers them and to many people who love nigerians that's a the part they love about us is that nigerians are unbothered by this 
and we'll continue to be unbothered by it because our natural element is to just be to walk in our own truth. And the truth is we see ourselves to be kings and queens. We see ourselves to be uh, conquerors. We see ourselves to be achievers, overachievers. We see ourselves to be overcomers, right? And that is the truth. And when you see yourself that way, you just have no other choice but to walk in that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please, you know, like the video, share the content, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all. För de här jadis jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger av min tid och Jag vill ha det, ha det Nu får mig tjäna safety Nu kan du le det baby Och jag kommer